Hello boys and girls, today we have a cast uh, where sent by my good of my friend from the Duelist Discord on the top team and uh, I think it's a ladder match um, where some random on the other team uh, play on Tailand Canyon, it's at 20 by 20 where there is 3k reclaim in the core base of each base 8k in the northern pond and uh, something like 3, 3k, 3 or 4k on the southern form. So the game is usually done by who's controlling the northern form because there is like enough mechs from uh, one other player on each side. So if you lose that, that's uh, it's like to play against two more players and it's quite hard. So um, you can win uh, by land. But usually it's done uh, with the T2 Navy. Because the land, there is uh, a lot of choke. With one, with few T2 PD, you can stop uh, any land invasion until the T3 phase. And uh, the T2 Navy can reach uh, most of the mechs. Um, the middle map is just a standstill. It's easy to, to defend or to push back when the when they win that side, but uh, if uh, a player can get away with the middle claim, it's, it's a huge difference. And the left side usually they start stand off on both hill, and if one hill is uh, is captured, uh, the other player can stand uh, here with some PD and uh, hold off and hope that uh, the other player win uh, the side. So uh, I will um, see the, the cat point of view uh, for, for this game. Um, she's trying uh, Hydro Rush with some reclaim. Um, in the early part of the game you it's preferable to make some minor reclaim. Attack move for uh, 90, 100 uh, reclaim is, is way too few. It's like grabbing those two rocks or those three rocks and uh, it's the same thing as a uh, few minutes standing uh, in the reclaim. Uh, now you're stalling and you're trying to make a T2 upgrade. That's, you don't have the echo for that. I would just left. If you really want to rush your economy, I would just let those two engineers and set the, the gun forward because if the opponent fights with his gun, uh, they can get some nice reclaim juice and even push you back if the com is not there. Uh, so let's see how he's doing on the other side. Yeah, see where this, the other com is. Is um, is more dangerous here than is than in his base, uh, making uh, T2 mixes. Especially since you are stalling uh, really hard. Um, one uh, nice tip I can give you is when you uh, upgrade the uh, one max each time one max is done you can add one more engineer to uh, to the mix that go around and making the two uh, mixes because they drain four uh, four mass and uh, you get four more mass when you get one to two mixes um anyway uh, right now you lack uh, you also lack build power you just have one factory at uh, four minutes, and that's way too few when you you have when your job is to hold someone, because right now you you play like a five v five map, maybe fifteen by fifteen at most, and uh, at four minutes uh, the show of the first few units will will be will be sent to you. Uh, but. Other than that, the two come in the middle are quite nice. Uh, usually you send your com on the other side, but I think that's a really good choice because if there is one, or if there is only one commander getting the reclaim, you can get a early kill. Um, this is a nice echo. It's good on the top. Oh, you give the, the max to to Tunis, that's nice. Uh, 
Yeah, right now you should have uh, you should have your your heal, and you have still nothing. That's one, two, three. That's four, maybe five uh, T2 maxes of mass that you're missing, and the reclaim. Uh, if you someone could catch that drop, that would be great. Uh, other than that. Uh, Making one factor at a time is better to have your build power focus on one thing at a time, not three things at the same time. And uh, you idling a lot of your commander. Uh, when you see a island uh, radar like that, uh, making T1 air and, and uh, dropping some bomber could be nice. You are doing your commander where you could get some juicy reclaim. And if you don't have the attention span, just make a patrol move. Uh, yeah, doing great. Yeah, you're splitting up your build power. That's, that's really not good. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, either way, on the other team, you're facing the 1400. So, I would not take risk and just uh, just hold hold my my side if I'm against someone that's way higher than me. But for that, you need intel, and you still you never scout what he has. You don't know what he's doing right now. It could be a gun come with uh, 10, 20 uh, T1 tanks and run to your base. And you will be doomed. But what is it? Uh, I mean, that's not threatening enough. But he made some uh, because he made some uh, some eco inside oh. higher rated player. So there is that. Oh, he grab he grab a lot of the middle reclaim. That's scary for them. And they don't have any radar on the hill, so they don't know what's going on. That's scary for them. Go back to your to point of view. So you're making T2 right now, I think. Uh, that's early enough. Uh, you need a bit more power. You should have a bit more power. For going for a T2, usually you need uh, one ring of uh, of Maxis. So uh, if you have an hydro, it's like uh, 15 T1 uh, T1 power, and you just have seven, so seven more. But other than that, it's fine. But the com not in the front line, that's uh, a huge miss for me in my book. Uh, your team should be careful pushing. You should have more intel. You, your team lack intel. And when you see T1 bomber, it's it's a call for you to to make some uh, interceptor. You can expect the air player to defend your, uh, you against T1 bomber. That's you to uh, to fix it. And having few um, uh, AA in your mix is nice, but it's better to have interceptor that kill the bomber before they uh, drop a bomb into your your tanks. Before it's like even if you kill the bomber with one pass, with one pass they kill enough of your T1 uh, tank to uh, to be worth its price. But I mean it's, it's hard to play on. I don't blame you for that. And you don't want to fight to a fair fight against the other faction, especially when you play on. Um, you have to retreat, and I even if you if you uh, lose that side, it's better to lose that side and lose your army, and lose even more uh, after that. If uh, if he didn't have to to help his teammate. Uh, you you would have died here. 
or at least crumble your side would crumble uh, for a t upgrade a nice thing to have is two um, two uh, t1 uh, e storage and when the bar is full and uh, with like uh, plus 200 it's enough for you to, to get the t2 upgrade and if you want something after that like uh, chrono for the aeon uh, you just need one uh, more e storage and one um, t2 um, t2 power generator and you will have enough to to make uh, a shield of chrono Uh, you need a radar like yesterday But you get harassed by the T1 bomber so you should have uh, T1 in interceptor and then make radar and Then uh, retake your your side and One thing you, you could do is just have one uh, Factory building unit and the other one assist assist uh, that uh, factory and those uh, factories that assist the first one could send uh, like one or two engineers on each side to get the reclaim. Uh, so your your team lost uh, that battle. They should retreat and call the loss for that reclaim. They should not stand there. That's pretty dangerous to, to standing there. Especially when you see that your teammate uh, is Titriere. That's... Um, and I sell to that's, that can tell you that uh, the opponent is also t and uh, they could uh, snipe you so right now you should be extremely careful with your commander at the um, 12 or so minute mark or you have uh, air coverage and then it's fine but uh, as a rule of thumb, be careful. And before sending your that those engineers, a radar could be appreciated, so it wouldn't suicide them uh, for free. Making a big attack move, but you you really don't have enough uh, information. Now it's a T2 radar if you want to to uh, to go to that side of the map, not the T1. Yeah, you did go for Chrono, but you don't have any storage. I mean, storing mass is another way to do it, but uh, Chrono is is really expensive in the E side. Uh, I think that could be a kill if he managed correctly a uh, Mantis to uh, block his path. But just getting that, and if you get a lot of reclaim, that would be a win. I wouldn't push more with those units I mean it's just engineer so not nice of him but he didn't know so it's, it's a risk uh, uh, once again it's a risk uh, a unnecessary risk he's playing with fire GBK that's nice of GBK to tell uh, your ally when you do something I think GBK you you don't need enough mass to to produce that many LC. Oh, I'll speak too soon. You you have enough. There's still a lot of mass uh, missing. There is yeah there is a lot of mass. You, you the team could be better to to s to clean up the the mass. I'm surprised that really, Tunis is on point to, to get those uh, those mass, those free mass. GBK ping you, uh, send this unit, but Ket, you, you did nothing. I assume you wait for your commander, but it's better to have uh, a bad call with your ally than uh, a good call alone in most cases I mean a suicide mission is still a bad call uh, 
so you have close to the map control they could have more reclaimed though so they could still be ahead the infinity class uh, getting value that's rare Right. Uh, to get th the side under control is better to have uh, destroyer than cruiser for the iron and for the cybran. So Tunis is bullying the air player. That's good to know. So you, when uh, the air player is getting bullied, you know that you can use your your commander aggressively. So there is at least that you can grab with what you have. And if you don't fight next to those PD, those things uh, should be it, everything there. Yeah. Thanks to GBK, uh, blue, uh, blue can hold you. And that's really scary for for our force. Uh, GVK, yeah, five chemas uh, with those uh, in she. If we don't suicide them, yeah, don't fight the PD. That's good. If we retreat, no, you don't want to to run to them. You don't want to to kite them back. I mean, you didn't fight the PD, so there is that. And you don't fight to those you want to, yeah, want to continue that way. Super, it's fine. Uh, uh, I think an attack move would, would have been better than just a move order. Those obsidian will do uh, some nice work. Uh, you have to kill those PD. Focus the PD first. Good. Uh, you don't want those T1 factory anymore. Uh, you, you you can use them to rec to get some reclaim, but not to get unit anymore. Right now you could have uh, that for T3 that at the T3 phase, the T3 um, factory heavily assisted by uh, T1 or T2 engineer. But you don't want T1 unit anymore. So on that map, just clean that and don't go further further than that. Wait for experimental if you want to, to push uh, further in the base, if you see a lot of defenses. Uh, right now you could upgrade the uh, T3 Max, possibly one T3 Max, I would say. So it's 4k mass and uh, you need plus 100 uh, in power. To pass a view upgrade uh, one to three max. Yeah, destroy. Aeon destroyer would have killed that. You don't want to push. Just want to hold. Maybe uh, clean uh, the the top. Hold and echo on your side. That's way too risky. That that could be a mass dump. Now you're stalling heavily in mass. What's going on? Is your is this oh, wrong vision? Uh, minus 40, so it's not that. No. Maybe those. Yeah, those. Those extra factory. Those should be uh, only engineer and uh, get the reclaim. You, that is enough to, to hold a anything that can come to world view. So you kill those two mixes, you put your army uh, on uh, on the hill, and you echo up on your side until you have enough to, to make like a GC or uh, make enough uh, T3 army. 
What did we have? But you don't want to, f to fight that. That could be a mass dump. And uh, that could mean the, the enemy to could recover. Yeah. PD fighting the, the, the terrain, classic. And uh, the town fighting also the terrain, also a big classic. But that's a lot of T2PD for Aeon to push with mostly T1. That should have been clean up before pushing there. And you have uh, a commander with T2, you can make uh, a, a T2 spore factory and making some uh, missile launcher. Anyway. Right now the, the biggest mistake I would say is the is the T1 spam at 20 minutes when uh, most people are T2 uh, at least and um, no, not moving your commander uh, to the front line uh, really, really la later I would say after the 4 core maxes it should move to be at least there if not uh, getting the reclaim there or there That's that's a big loss for you. Y you left uh, s two uh, two to three max in front of his base when he is behind. So yeah, yeah. Once once the north side crumble, the game is usually lost, or you get some nice uh, nice snipe, but that's rare and shouldn't be ex uh, expected to to do so if i was you i would just hold that choke move my commander into a pawn and uh, eco up <laughs> gbk clean the uh, clean the side for you <laughs> Oof, that's a lot of mass Right now you should spam uh, T2 or T2 engineer to have enough uh, build power to spend that mass. And you, sh you need more power also. You need one T3 power at least and uh, a lot more uh, engineer. I mean the the size is troubling. If you just wait on your on your little corner, you should you should win anyway. GBK is the MVP of the game with Tunis that bully uh, his opponent. Oh, it's not uh, uh, matchmaking be before because uh, there is not yet a 5v5 uh, in the matchmaking. That's ambitious, making the quantum gateway. I don't think he has the core to spend it. Uh. Oh, it's against Tennis. <laughs> Oh, I come uh, from me. I see what's in it. Yeah, yeah, that looks bad. It looks really bad. Yeah, the game is over. It's been over, I think, since uh, they lost the top pound. And I see. I don't think I see wasted a lot of his. Uh, T3 bomber. You have to be uh, to watch where the terrain to to play PD. If you want to play T2 PD, you want to to put them in the close to the edge or the fire the fire into the ground. Yeah, really nicely done. That's good. 
props to the 800 that, that used a lot of its engineer to reclaim. The value, the value chicken. Yeah, you, you had a lot of raw but I think you, you had too much of it. I mean, you could play with Aeon, with the Aura, with, if you had a lot more shield. And a lot of micro and uh, I wouldn't try that. When he will hit control K, I don't know. Uh, where is Commander? Yeah, that's uh, how much? How much again? Uh, the T2 shield, T2 shield. Uh, 13 so that's 5 it need like 10 uh, T3 bomber to kill it in one pass yeah <laughs> GG for everyone good game I hope you like the cast have a nice day